right, Coach Lipinski, McClure North, final day of uh, state. How you feeling? Um, feeling good. I'm gonna Pretty get proud. closer because that voice. You can tell us, Dave. I'm feeling good. I'm uh, proud of my Russells right now, and um, we got some unfinished business still to go. So, you know, a little nervous and uh, a little excited. Tell me a little bit about uh, you guys are like fringe for a trophy year one at the the girls division. Uh, give us a little breakdown. Well, uh, I haven't been this close to a trophy ever as a coach, so I've uh, been watching things and uh, had a feeling that if my girls wrestled well, we could be in a hunt, and right now we're there in that hunt, and um, I just want them to go out there and perform like they can, and then things will fall where they need to be, I hope. Tell me about, tell me about the girls' squad a little bit. So, uh, first year, I have girls out. Uh, I did something a little different than maybe most coaches. I didn't really put it out to the whole school, but I went up to some girls individually that I thought would be really good wrestlers, uh, good students, good athletes, everything you'd want in, a, in, a, in one of your student athletes. And um, I wanted to get, you know, my goal is to have six to 10 girls come out. Uh, I had a couple girls that were interested, but kind of bailed at the front last minute. So I had one come out of nowhere, said she wanted to wrestle, I was cool. So I ended up starting with six. And we were having a lot of success at the beginning of the year. I had six, but they were doing a lot of winning. And, you know, rankings come out and we're ranked. And it's like, what, what's going on here? And so figuring things out. So halfway through the year, I went out and got two more girls. Because I was like, <laughs> we might have something here. And um, the girls were awesome. They never missed practice. They were really into it. Um, I, you know, they, I, I wanted girls that would make it real easy on us and have make it a real successful year with no girls quitting, you know, girls doing the right things. That's all I really wanted. And, and all this they've done right now is above and beyond. You know, um, all my girls were brand new to wrestling except for one. And she's a state medalist right now. She'll be wrestling for third. And um, but I got a girl right now, sophomore in the finals, that uh, hockey player, you know, mm -hmm. has six, seven older brothers and sisters. She's a tough kid. And um, she's been getting better every week and a great kid to have. And, um, you know, excited to see if she can be my first state champion. Seems to me, you know, and I, it seems to me like the girls here are extremely passionate about wrestling and they fight. Is, is it... Is there any difference? You know, can you can compare and contra or contrast a boys squad or a girls squad, or am I just in my offer? Hey, I just say it's uh, all these girls tournaments we've been at this year. It's a lot louder. Mm -hmm. There's there's everybody in the family is there. Um, girls, you know, guys wrestlers tend to get be friendly with other guys, but I don't know like on the level the girls are. I mean, they're like best friends with other girls. Mm -hmm. One thing a bunch of coaches have noticed, and I've noticed that the male wrestlers always call their guys out by their last name. The girls are always like, oh yeah, I got Caitlin, or I got to wrestle Samantha. It's all first names. I'm like, well, who's that, you know? Um, and, and the girls that are not wrestling, they're like cheerleaders on the side. I mean, they, they really root for each other, and um, it's it's just interesting. There's a lot of talking going on during matches that I've never seen, you know? Girls talking to refs, girls talking to each other. Um, <laughs> You know, it's 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 interesting, but uh, they're wrestlers, you know, and, and they show up every day. They work hard. They're going to get better, and you know, I, and this is it's great. So tell me, you know, as a coach, what's it like for you at the event? You know, you're you're uh, you got girls going to compete, finishing their year out, and you've been in the room with them. Like, tell me about the emotions that you feel at, at a state championship. You know, it's like a lot of coaches that have been here. You know, you got. When you have kids, or each one of them is their own team. You know, you got to work with them individually, mentally, you know, physically, getting them ready. Everybody's different, you know. And, and you go through those highs and lows. You know, I had two girls in a bubble match, and literally one got pinned in a close match, and at the same moment, my other one got a pin to win. So I had one meddling and one not meddling at the exact same moment, you know. And it's bittersweet, you know. But that's that's what makes the sport. You know, it's it's like life. Things don't always go your way. Um, a girl that lost is, is an awesome kid. She's a track medalist, and you know she's handling it well. You know she she loved the experience. She's a senior, and we got a lot out of her. And, and I, I can't, you know, do I want to get that medal? Absolutely. But it's it's just, you know, it's it's different. You know, and the boys I handle them a little bit different way. And, and there's a lot of us to juggle down here. I think a lot of the coaches, staffs are doing both. You know, and, and I'm one of those guys. So it's been a lot, and uh, it's been a roller coaster. You know, like it always is. So seems like. Um Clearly, you love wrestling. As long as I've known you, and we were still talking. To you. you used to beat me up a little bit. You invested into my success. I wasn't even on your team. You know, this was back in 2000. Uh, why? Why do you put this much energy and, and time into the sport? Um, I love it. You know, it, it's given me so much, and it's crazy. There's, there's times where I think about it now. This is going to be almost my this is my 19th year coaching high school wrestling. 
and um, sometimes I think the end is closer to being closer to me than it, than it is further away. But you know, when I get down to this tournament, I, I love this. I don't know anything different. You know, my, since I've been wrestling since I was five, I don't know what a winner is without wrestling. And yeah. I know that day will come one day, and it, it'll be different. I hope to stay involved somehow. But I, I just like seeing kids be excited. You know, um, seeing kids achieve goals, set goals, and, and, and get to them. You know, and, and just be on this little journey every year. And, and it's 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 tough. It's tough on everyone, but it's so rewarding. Awesome. Well, uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for putting your energy into the sport. Always good to see you. Yep. You got anything else to share? No, just a uh, uh, great job by uh, Misha. It's real exciting, good tournament, and um, uh, hopefully I get an interview later on with the trophy in my hands. There we go. Thanks, Jake.